I am honored to be the first CEO of a private corporation to become a member of the United Nations Security Council. Unfortunately, my appearance today has been clouded by a flurry of speculation that my company is developing a weapon of mass destruction which would be capable of targeting specific ethnic groups. I want to address these allegations head on. Are we developing such a weapon? No, we are not. Because we've already developed it. But with all due respect, the United Nations is a relic from a different time when nations were unique in their ability to solve the world's problems. But that just isn't the case anymore, primarily because you have outsourced the job to me. I have sent people to die in your wars. So I feel uniquely qualified to tell you, your wars don't work. Which is why my priorities have changed from profits to policy, because politicians don't know how to solve problems, but I do. So let's be clear. I am here to solve the world's problems. And I believe the world's problems begin with you. So what the hell was that? Couldn't tell you, mate. But it sounded an awful lot like Irons declaring war. We took out his WMDs without Manicor. Atlas didn't stand a chance. Oh, Mac, you need to see this. Talk to me. We cracked the encryption on the last set of uploads. What am I looking at? Potential targets. I ain't had a fallback plan if Atlas was ever backed into a corner. The preemptive strike. He's gonna try to knock us out before the fight has even begun. Oh, a direct attack on the US? Are we sure Irons is even up for that? So what's the play? No way Atlas can hit them all at once. San Francisco. The entire third fleet is in the bay. I need you two on the ground. Now. Sides all clear. Wait, what's he playing at? What do you got? It's rabbiting. Let's move. Go, go, go! White van with commercial place just jumped the checkpoint. We're in pursuit. There could be anything inside that van. Pursue, but do not engage. Punch it, Mitchell.
good? Cormac, our pit bull's out of action. Proceeding on foot. Atlas vehicles are deploying soldiers. They're closing on your position. We need these civilians off the bridge. What the hell is that? Gauge your boost. We need to get out. Special zero one. I need a sit rep. Hey, we are engaged in a large atlas of the bridge. We need to blockade any incoming ships. Copy that. We're moving to intercept.
Got movement on TRP three and five. Confirm changes on those cargo ships. They're attacking the fleet. 
It'll be a massive... At ease, Lieutenant! How many assets do I still have active in the area? Scanning. Stand by. Connecting you now. All signal teams, radio check. Signal 2-2, two, two, radio check. Charlie Lima. Signal 2-1, loud and clear. So what the fuck are we supposed to do now? Solid copy. Descend and hold position at the carrier. I'm en route. Jesus. Alice is trying to take control of the carrier's weapon systems. We need to get jammers on those rail guns and fire technicians some time. We've got enemy troops all over the carrier. They're gonna try and take the ship's bridge. Let's move. We won't let them get away with this. Get that jammer in place! Jammer set! 
One more to go. Two warbirds coming from the west. Pilot's stop is inbound. Mangoes are fast zipping in. That warbird has a bead on you. Take cover. Boosters. I don't need anyone breaking their neck. We need to get to the bridge.
Linking in. I need you to target for me, Mitchell. Get on that terminal. Target that cargo ship. Hold steady on the cargo ship, Mitchell. Kingpin. Fucking hell. There's no turning back from this. What happens next? Next? I just murdered thousands of innocent people on U.S. soil. Next? We hunt them down. And we bury them. is asking one question. Why did I attack the United States? The United States has had the world in a constant state of war for over a hundred years. Time and again, we have seen the catastrophic results of this belligerent militaristic policy. These wars haven't led to resolution or peace. These wars have only led to more wars. The United States has set the agenda because they wielded the biggest stick, well, no more. This is not the beginning of a war. This is the end of all wars. After San Francisco, the entire free world turned against Atlas. Irons entrenched himself at his headquarters in New Baghdad. All communications ceased. Both sides knew what was coming. Our mission was to fly in with the 37th Airborne during the initial shock and awe campaign. 
From there, we would break off and infiltrate the Atlas Command Center, taking out Irons. For Cormac, it was the end of a journey. He'd been waiting five years for this day. Last minute change of plan. We'll be flanking around from the east and the north, covering blue team on their sortie over the target. Yes, sir. I guess I've got the soft option. There are no soft options on the table. I just don't want all my assets in play at once. We're only gonna have one shot at getting the bastard. That's all we'll need. I know it. Just stay alive. You're our star witness when we drag his ass in front of the Hague. Looking forward to it. All right, good luck. There was nothing more to say. We all knew what had to be done. This was the beginning of the end. For one of us. Sentinel 2-1, approaching APC Romeo Victor Nort at Angels 5. Roger that. Maintain low-level flight from there to New Baghdad. Kingpin out. Sentinel flight. Fence in. Engage anything that doesn't have a Sentinel beacon. Three bandits ahead. 12 o'clock low. Time is down, Captain. One down. Ambush bearing 315. I'm being painted. Watch those traces! Watch your wings! Corvette is coming over the ridge at 2 o'clock. Tablet drop. Thanks for the cover fire. You saved my tail. Target down. Mitchell, stay in the canyon. Back ahead! Stay below it. Use your blowing power plant. Watch that block. Failing throws ahead. That is close. Four birds merging in at 12 o'clock. Hey, you will. Bravo. I'll take the right canyon. Taking the left. Watch your six, Mitchell. Rough ball ahead. Three. Target down. Mitchell, keep your head down. Watch your hands, Mitchell! Mitchell, stay low. Approaching hydro on next to Lock onto those hard points and hit them with your missiles. Right tank. Watch out for the debris. Bravo. Find it. Closing in to six, Mitchell. Watch your tail, Mitchell. Got one. Target down. Get out of here. Heavy debris. Space of numbers. Crossing ACP-5. 12 o'clock. Four men. Three and six. I'm on them. That was mine. They're coming back around. Six o'clock high. Got one. Target down. Getting close. Use your guns. Stay focused. We're almost through. Requesting visual landmark on map grid. Come on. This is Sentinel Zero One. A final approach to New Baghdad. Copy Zero One. Enemy air defense perimeter in 1.5 clicks. Commencing drop sequence. Autopilot engaged. Pod deployment successful. 1,200 meters to target. Minimizing system power. Switching over to low detection. Copy all Zero One. Your squad is off the radar. Magnetic at Cherub's 4. Distance 2 nautical miles from the target. Over. Connecting the heads up to the battlefield network. Our main target is Atlas Command Center, where Irons is directing the war effort from deep inside. Multiple MD turrets have been placed as air defenses around the city. We need to take them out in order to reach the command center. Distance to target 200 meters. Switch off heads up and prepare for touchdown. Coming in. 
it hard. Got to be a rough landing. Reverse thrusters. Fucking 
What's happening? Knox is down. I need immediate medevac on my location. No. It's Manicore. We gotta pull back. Get everyone out! Why aren't we affected? I engineered it to be harmless to his own troops. The three of us must have been inoculated. Return fire! Citizens of New Baghdad, hold strong. Victory is within our grasp. Look around you, and you will see our enemies fall one by one. Each and every one of you can be agents of change. Yes, we will suffer losses. We will suffer setbacks. But make no mistake, we will win. The security that you desire, the security that you deserve, is within our grasp. But it can only be claimed if you are willing to fight for it. Fight for it. I've cheated death many times, got right up close to it. It was never something I welcomed, but with it comes serenity, a clarity that you'd never expect. You experience the present as the inevitable destination of every step you've taken towards it. And in that same moment, you see a different path stretch out in front of you, the path you could have taken at the first step. We are all on this road together. The good men who fight for wrong causes, and the corrupt men who cloak themselves in righteousness. Each one of them convinced they are on the side of the angels. But every journey has an end, and death can only be cheated for so long. We had thrown everything we had at Atlas and come up short. Now it was time to pay the price. Stay alert. Any detail could make the difference. What is this place? Clear. Used to be a research lab. Looks like Iron's modified it since. Research for what? Medical advancements, something like that. Doesn't matter. It's a prison now. This is it. The way we survive this is by keeping our heads. Wait for an opportunity. Everyone off the truck, now! Come on, get him off the truck. That's all of them. Ten coming open. These two, these ten, get them going. Into the cage. The rest of them are on the red line. Ten filling up. How did you end up here? Our air support was wiped out when Manico hit. I was outside the blast radius, but our squad was surrounded and outgunned. Is there a rescue force coming for us? Downtown is contaminated. We've pulled out of the city entirely. I don't think anybody's coming. All right, let's go, guys. Out of the pen. Out of the pen now. Move it. Here. Now. Get over here. Let's go. Start walking. Come on. What are you doing? We're coming in. Ice forward! Seabuck! 
on the floor. Open the chute. Open. Wires out. Clear. Look him up. Go. I right, that down. Have a nice day. Get away from me. I wanted to meet the man whose mission it was to kill me. Our mission was to stop you. I've cheated death many times. Got right up close to it. It was never... But if that meant killing you, I don't think anybody'd be too troubled. Failure is not something we tolerate here at Atlas, so I'm disturbed that three of my best contractors have failed so miserably. But that's the way it has to be. The wheat from the chaff, the strong from the weak. The ancient Spartans knew the true meaning of warfare. That truth has been lost to us for two millennia. What of your son, Will? What was he? Wheat or chaff? Will was the victim of the misguided policies of the United States government. Will died fighting for what he believed in. Of course, the tragedy is dying for what you believe in doesn't make it true. <laughs> <laughs> You're not young, but you are strong, Cormac. So I give you 20 minutes to bleed out. Time enough to consider whether it was all worth it. And you. And the prodigal son returns. believed in you. I gave you a second chance. You're nothing like
Get him out of there. Can you walk? Stop, Irons. I'm done. Shut it. We're leaving. All of us. I've got him. Right, follow me. Stay quiet. Like his size. Grab his exosuit and sidearm. Here. With only one wing, you won't be reloading. So make every shot count and pick up new kit when you're empty. Ready. This looks like surface access. Ilona, this way. Mitchell, get on that console and get the door open. Hurry up! Drop your Freeze. weapon! Get down on the floor! You will open fire! Mitchell, stay there! Drop it! What happened? Door's locked. Stand back! Damn! Try to get topside! We'll find another way. Mitchell, let's move. If I know Alona, she'll secure a topside evac. Let's not keep her waiting. Manticore strikes. He's launching missiles. Baghdad was just the beginning. Washington, New York, Los Angeles. Military targets all over the country. Launches in less than two hours. Fuck me. Stay calm, shut up! Gideon, are you there? We've got a problem tracking your position. Ilona! Ilona, do you read me? Shit! Come on! Huh? Door's locked. See if you can... Sequencing. Cleared. So this is Ion's vision for the future. He's insane. I'll be damned if we let him get away with this. Out of the way! Move!
Gotta keep moving. On the ah, fucking ground! Right. Take it easy! Let's go! Ah, down! Ah, down. Ah, ah. Oh my god! You! Don't you fucking move! Get back or I'll shoot! Come on! Get the door! Ah. Where is Manticore launching from? Where? The Atlas Command Center, in the city! Ooh. Hi, let's go! The hell are we? That doesn't sound good. Close. Sunlight! We're almost out! We need to alert command about the Manticore launch! Gideon, it's Alona. I've secured a vehicle for Expo. RV at the north wall. Good work. We're en route. Hurry! Ormac isn't doing well. Through here! Let's go! Hang in there, Mitchell. Fall. Good work. We're en route. Hurry! Our match is doing well. Through here. But Hilo, that's our run. Contact. Hang in there, Mitchell. Contact. Hey. Thank you later.
this. There's enough Manticore here to hit every major military base in the world. We need to find Alona and Cormac. Let's move. Ready? Let's go! Move! Push for the cover! Any station! Any Sentinel 2-1 in the blind! You copy! 2-1, this is Kingpin. We have the all. Now we lost you, soldier. Lions is planning a biological strike against major bases in the next two hours. Understood. We are tracking your position. Sending air assets to assist with that. Kingpin, you copy! Ah! Hold on! On your feet! Watch it! Still looks functional. Hit the manual punch out. Cormac? He's in the back. 
I'll help him. Just drive! Let's pray we're not too late. Stay with me. We're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. It's not much further. Don't stop. Don't. Come on. Mm. Cormac! So what now? Now we finish this thing. We're the only ones who can stop our hands from launching Manticore. It's three of us. Against an army. It's suicide. You're right. But it's what he would have done. Okay. You got any ideas? Just one. It was a plan only Gideon could have come up with. A frontal assault on Iron Stronghold using the two mech suits we found back at the base. Drones would fly us in. After that, we'd be on our own. Sentinel 2-1, we're detecting high levels of contamination in the city. We will not be able to get ground forces to assist you. Over. Do be not, Kingpin! Enemy forces are closing on your position! I see them! Mitchell, weapons free! Light them up! Mitchell, on me. <laughs> 
Ilona, we're inside. You should be right next to the launch pad. Security breach in the silo. All units converge on Sector 4 immediately. Swarm missiles ready. Rocket ready. Main gun ready. Unauthorized personnel in Sector 4. Repeat. Unauthorized personnel in Sector 4.
Mitchell, hang on. We stopped it. We stopped the launch. I'm gonna get you out of here. Stay with me. Keep moving. Stay with me. Sentinel 2-1. City defenses are breaking. Atlas troops are collapsing. We need to know the status of that launch. Copy that, Kingpin. The launch has been aborted. Repeat, launch is aborted. You copy? Kingpin, come in! Ilona, are you receiving? to move. They're gonna hit this building any minute. I'm setting you down. I need you to try and walk, Mitchell. I need to find some light. Hello, Mitchell. Don't you fucking move. I could ask the same of you. He's hacking into our exo! Come out of ammo! You rely too much on those things. The city is falling, it's over! What I have started won't end with me. It's bigger than me, and it's certainly bigger than you! You think I'm a monster? That's only because you don't have the conviction to do what's necessary. Necessary? The attack on America? Unleashing Manticore? Killing thousands of innocent people? I'm saving the world from itself. When there's no one left to challenge Atlas, there will be no more wars. There had to be sacrifices along the way. Yeah, twisted fucks throughout history have used the same argument. I don't know who stopped the launch. They'll bring this entire building down on top of you! I could have killed you in the prison camp. I could kill you now. But I won't. I'm not a monster. Mitchell, try to hit the release on your exo. Now mine. It's not working. There's no time. If he gets away, this will all have been for nothing. Go. No! Don't let Irons get away! You either pull me up, or this whole building goes down and we go down with it! Mitchell! What are you doing? What are you doing? Mitchell! I gave you that arm! Mitchell! I gave you a second chance! I've 
I've got you, mate. I've got you. There's only going to end one way for it. Irons gave me a second chance. And I gave it back. He thought he could solve the world's problems. If he did have the answer, he took it with him to the grave. But he was right about one thing. This wasn't the end. It was just the beginning.